the MTV's Video Music Awards scene was stolen by a couple of unlikely objects. Lady Gaga's face masks. The artist, who won four awards, asked her fans to stay safe, speak their minds and wear a mask. The director Francis Ford Coppola announced that a new cut of The Godfather 3 is being released, titled Mario Puzo's The Godfather, Coda, The Death of Michael Corleone. It will be available in December, firstly as a limited theatrical release, and afterwards it will be released on home video. The Venice International Film Festival started under a restrained format past Wednesday. A strict protocol was put in place. The top prizes will be awarded on the final day of the event, September 12. The Australian government is watching closely an internet reform, which will make Facebook pay for news sourced from local providers under a royalty-style system. The platform plans to block the sharing of news on Australian accounts in order to avoid the impending payment. Angela Merkel affirmed past Wednesday that Alexei Navalny was poisoned with a Novichok nerve agent. The main Kremlin critic is still in Berlin under serious condition. World leaders are demanding answers from Moscow, while Russia says there is no evidence of poisoning. Macron visited Lebanon for the second time in less than a month. The French president pressed Lebanese authorities to make real reforms within three months or face sanctions. Following the shooting of Jacob Blake at the hands of the police and protests, both Donald Trump and Joe Biden visited Kenosha, Wisconsin. While the current president spoke of law and order, the Democratic candidate focused his attention on the victim and the community. European schools try to reopen as COVID cases go up again. Despite all the security measures that have been implemented, parents and kids fear that it may not be enough. On the other hand, countries' authorities consider that face-to-face -face class should be back as soon as possible. The COVID pandemic seems far from over as the number of worldwide cases surpasses 26 million. Over 1,800,000 people have died from the disease, and scientists from all over the world rush to find treatments and an effective vaccine.